supposed to be riding today. That was the plan. I don't know if you're like me, but I tend to um, jump the gun a little bit. Start to feel a little bit better. If you saw the last vlog, you would know I was suffering from a little bit of intestinal problems. But I jumped the gun, right? I want to get back on the bike as quickly as possible. And uh, usually that's not the best idea. It's also, uh, the weather has taken a bit of a turn. It's not quite as warm as it was. It's five degrees right now with the wind, feels like one. So why bother? Wait till I'm 100% uh, recuperated. Uh, so that gives me an opportunity to head to the bike shop, which I'm doing right now. Get a chain. If you saw in the last vlog, you would know I got a clunky chain situation. Basically a worn chain situation that I need to address. So we're gonna head there now, gonna get a chain. I really don't care what kind of chain it is. Uh, I don't care if it's SRAM, Shimano, I don't care. I take 105, Altegra. Not fussy. Let's see what they have. And I could order this chain on Amazon, but I'm not a big fan of that because you know what that does? It bypasses the local bike shop. And it may be a little bit more expensive here, but at least I'm supporting the local business. Local bike shop is called Fat Moose Cycles. Let's go check it out. Success. I don't usually like to take my uh, camera into bike stores. I don't think they like it too, too much. I'm gonna ask for permission. Anyways, popped in real quick. I got a bike chain from my friends at Fat Moose. Shimano. Shimano 11 speed. CNHG 601-11, whatever that means. But most importantly, it comes with the quick link. So let's get this bad boy put on. And uh, fingers crossed, it solves the issue. And no more uh, clickety clack from the drive train. Let's do it. smooth every time I change a chain on my bike I think I should do it more often I'm pretty sure that I gained 10 watts on my ride this morning yeah and it's also rather pleasing when you diagnose a problem and you solve it all at the same time so the clunking I wasn't too sure if it was the bottom bracket if it was the cassette or if it was the chain or a combination of all three turns out it was just the chain changed it as you saw and uh, yeah it's quiet, it's efficient, and it's awesome. Uh, that's a wrap for this week, guys. Um, have a great week. Next week, we're going steel on steel. We're putting my two steel steeds head to head, 
and uh, highlighting the strengths and the weaknesses of both. That is the Mariposa road bike and the Velo Orange Rando. What are the highlights? What are the lowlights? As these two titans of my bike stable go head to head, hmm, which one's going to come out on top? You'd be surprised. Have a great week. We will regroup. Take care.